see what Cammy's doing. Oh! I feel like we should be wearing pajamas right now since it's nighttime. Uh, full pajamas. <gasps> Cozy vibes. We're on the night shift. Cozy AF. There's so many catfish out there. We're working around the clock. I feel like Santa's elves. Exactly. All right, we got work to do. Let's just jump into it. All right, here we go. Oh, we got an email. Help me shed some light on this relationship. You ready for this? No. Hi, Navy Cammy. My name is Tam. I live in Houston, Texas. I'm 27, and I live with my older sister, Tay. Tam and Tay. Oh. I'm writing because she's convinced I'm being catfish. Oh. And I recently started to think she might be right. I met a woman named Jamina about two years ago in August of 2018 on Plenty of Fish. I was living in Prairie View and she was 45 minutes away in Houston. We connected immediately and ended up being together for six months. During that time, I tried to meet up with her. She would always ghost me. I couldn't get past that, so I ended things. Smart. Jamina was furious and blocked me on everything. I wanted to move on, but no matter what I did, I couldn't forget her. A little while ago, I begged my sister to message Jamina for me. All my accounts were blocked, so this was the only way I could contact her. Tay finally agreed, and when she reached out, Jamina said we could talk. Things seemed to be going well, until I recently got an anonymous text message from someone claiming to be Jamina's girlfriend. She said, I needed to back off from Jamina or she'd beat me up. I thought Jamina was the love of my life, but now I don't know what to believe. I need serious help. Thank you, Tam. Wow, let's get a little bit more information. Hey Tam, it's Neve. Just read your email. Oh boy, we gotta talk. If you get a text from someone saying, stop talking to so-and-so, I'm gonna beat your ass, I think it's safe to say you should stop talking to them so they don't come beat your ass. At the very least, it means that's not your girlfriend if she's talking to me. Hey! Hey! hey. What's up, Tam? Hey, hey, what's up? Damn, Tam. Got that chain, you got the baby hairs on, you got <laughs> the lashes. I feel like that's all you that's popping. Oh, thank you. Oh, are you talking to me or Cammy? No, not you. Both of y'all popping. Both of y'all popping. The only thing that's popping about me is the fact that I'm a pop. I'm a dad. That's about it. <laughs> well, obviously we got your email and we're not really sure what to make of all of it. Can you just kind of take us back to the beginning? Okay, um, I had just got out of a six year relationship. Whoa. I was living in a small college town in Prairie View. It was boring. So all my friends was like, you know, trying to start dating again. So I had got on POF and I just happened to run across her profile. I thought she was cute. And I just did the little hey there thing. <laughs> yeah. And she wrote me back and we was just talking or whatever. And then she gave me her number. But when she first gave me her number, she was kind of mean. Because at the time, my phone was like messed up completely. So I was actually texting her from a text free app. And oh. she was coming at me out of pocket like, why are you texting me off this fake stuff? I don't do the fake stuff. She thought you were a catfish. Yeah. And she was like, um, we must FaceTime. Did you FaceTime? She did used to try to FaceTime me. But I didn't used to answer. Oh my God. I was just. I was so nervous. She, I just... Pam, you sound like the catfish right now, honestly. <laughs> I was so nervous, I didn't know what to say. I had that text-free app. I don't want to answer for FaceTime. Did your car break down? No, I, I eventually tried to FaceTime her, but she she didn't answer. Interesting. Well, what do you know about Jamina? Um, She said she was a registered nurse, and she said she did real estate on the side. And she said she had two kids. 
She told me about her sister and she told me she had a brother. Were you able to see any of them on social media? No. I did ask her about like social media, but she was saying like, oh, me and my best friend, we're doing like this social media cleanse where we're not getting on our social media. And at that time it was cool with me because when we talked on the phone, we ended up just like instantly clicking. Like we ended up falling asleep on the phone from the first day. Literally, you used to say we was on the phone eight hours, 10 hours. I could talk to her about anything. We was just there for each other. So we instantly like became soulmates. Like, and I feel like she helped me too with like my sexuality. Even though my ex was a girl, we didn't even hold hands in public. That's not something that I was just very open like. But, but Jamina, I always used to tell her like, I feel safe in your energy. So that was really what attracted me to her. Like, I felt like I could be myself. Right. Were you saying I love you and stuff like that? Yeah, I don't know who said it first. No, nah, I said it first, I ain't gonna lie. I really meant it. <laughs> So things with Jamina were going really well, and you guys were very close. So after a while, you must have felt like it was time to meet up, right? I mean, because you don't even live that far away from each other. Yeah, I tried to meet up with her a few times. The first time, she was like, okay, I'm on my way. I sent her my location and everything, and then all of a sudden, I didn't hear from her. And I was calling her, and she said she had gotten a, a car accident. <laughs> Damn. I know, and that's when my sister was like, catfish, catfish. And then one time she really embarrassed me and I felt like that was kind of like the last straw. It was about to be PV homecoming. That was like gonna be my first year as an alumni. So me and my sister, we was coming to Houston and we was planning on trying to see what hotels was available. But Jamina was like, why y'all won't just stay at my house? Y'all can stay at my house. So she texts me her address. And when we get there, she was like, okay, I'm finna open up the gate. And then I ain't hear from her. And then just nothing? Yeah. Wow. And then my sister was like, well, let's just go. And Jamina, she tried to flip it on me and be like, you wasn't outside, you was playing, you was lying, you was trying to be sneaky, you was not outside, I've been calling you. That's insane. So after that, I was so embarrassed, I just stopped talking to her. But I used to always think about her, like, we connected on a deeper level. We could talk to each other, like, about everything under the sun. And I really missed that. I used to try to find her for a while, but she had me blocked still. So that's when I gave it to my sister. And I was like, text this, see if it work. And she texted, and that's when she was like, my sister want to talk to you. She said she missed you. She was like, all right, you can tell her to text me. And then we just started talking on the phone. It was just like old time. Every day we text each other and talk to each other. And I really enjoy that because that's what I miss. Wow. So can we see what she looks like? Yeah. OK. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, yeah, she is cute. Same girl. Can we see some of the messages between you just to get a sense of what the conversations are like? All right, we we talk a lot. Wow. So. Yeah, this is a lot. We're, yeah. I'm gonna read you this text message that I felt like was very sweet. Okay, this, this is long. Oh, wow. I right, said so she said, so I love you because you're super cool, funny, outgoing, talkative like me. I feel like I can tell you any and everything you have such a beautiful soul inside and out. Your personality is super dope. I love you because I can always count on you no matter what. I know I act like a bitch, but Tam, I love you for real and I never want you out of my life. I think this is the true meaning of lifetime partners. You are my better half. Wow. I mean, that's like one of the more sincere, meaningful messages I think I've ever read. You guys are really into each other. Jeez. Yeah. Makes me feel bad about the messages I send my wife. I gotta, I gotta step up my game. <laughs> I mean, have you ever talked to someone like this before? No, I never feel like that, ever. This is the person that you feel the most safe with. Are you willing to risk that? I feel like I need to know, because if not, then I'm just wasting my time. Mm -hmm. So we need to do some research, obviously. Send us any of the things that you've got, and first thing in the morning, we'll jump in, and we'll see what we can find. All right, so good luck. All right, Tam, we'll talk tomorrow. All right. All right, bye. Bye. Man. Wow. She is head over heels for this girl, and I am emotionally invested. I know. 
I just don't get, because Jamina seems so great, but then why does she also get so shady and stand Tam up? After reading those messages, I feel like this could be the making of a beautiful love story. I need this to be real. This has to end well. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.